Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to fire up our classic and we're going to make some Christmas cookies that Santa Claus would be proud to take. So let's get started. Okay, to get started, I've lit a fire in the center of the firebox of my Kamado Joe Classic. I'm going to set the heat deflectors in the low position and then set both halves of the grill grates in the upper position and we're going to set our vents so we can come up to a cooking temperature today of 375 degrees. While our grill's warming up we're going to put our cookie dough together and what we're going to use is two and a quarter cups of flour but I'm breaking this down into one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour and then one cup of oatmeal flour. And What I did there was I just took some oatmeal and ran it through my food processor. If you don't want to do that, just use two and a quarter cups of regular all-purpose flour. I've got one teaspoon of kosher salt and one teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm just going to whisk all this together and set it aside while we get our wet ingredients going. First thing I'm going to do in my stand mixer here is I'm going to start to cream uh, a cup of butter that's been softening at room temperature. And then I'm going to slowly add in three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar and then three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and I'm going to let that cream until it's nice and fluffy. And after that's creamed I'm going to take my spatula and just scrape down the side of this bowl all the way around. And then I'm going to raise it back up I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then put this back on slow. And we're going to crack in two eggs. And I'm going to let that stir just until they're mixed. And after those eggs are mixed in, we're slowly going to bring in our flour. And then we're going to add in three cups of bittersweet chocolate chips. And then the next thing that's going in is chopped bacon. I cooked a 12 ounce package of bacon and chopped it up and we're going to put all of that in here. And as you can see, this is really thick, so I'm going to stop the mixer and we're going to work this by hand a little bit. I'm just going to take my wooden spoon and I'm going to get that mixed up really well so we get all that bacon nicely combined throughout this dough. Okay, I've taken some of this and made some uh, cookie dough balls here that are about, I don't know, one and a half inches thick, maybe two. I'm going to flatten them out slightly. Then I'm going to sprinkle on just a tad of Maldon sea salt, which is a very flaky, coarse flake finishing salt. Just a little bit right on the top of each one of these. And then we'll take these guys out and toss them on the grill. Okay guys, our grill is up to temp, so I'm going to set these on here and I'm going to start the timer. I think these may take 12 to 15 minutes. Okay guys, I made that first batch a little too large, so I made a second run here and just put four on there and I used a grease sheet instead of parchment paper. So I'm going to take these off and we're going to go ahead and cook the rest of these. These things look delicious. Okay guys, I am taking the last pan of these things off. These things are looking real good, so we'll uh, get them all on the cooling rack and be back in a moment to have a look. Okay guys, these cookies are done. These things are absolutely delicious. They're amazing. And I am not an expert at cookie baking, and I've changed up a couple of things I started out from. Uh, like I said, I made the cookies a little smaller and I went back to six on the quarter sheet and instead of putting that Maldon sea salt on before I cooked them, I garnished with the Maldon salt right after they came off the grill, right when they're hot. And as you can see, there's some uh, visible uh, coarse grain salt on there and that's exactly what you're looking for. 
These cookies are thin cookies. If you like the traditional thicker texture cookie, don't use that oatmeal flour. Just use all regular all-purpose flour on these. So make a batch of these and let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter at Kamado Joe. And until next time, this is John Setzler with the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.